This old church was pretty in the day. Before they used service. Wasn't the blues. Get down and cover now! Well, look at who's passing. Keep your fire! Oh, oh boy, you ain't never fucked! I tell you what! Son of a bitch! Plenty of blues! Boy.
have a damn good reason for being on my property, mister. Remember that loan you took, Mr. Davison? Well, time's long since up. I'm here to collect. Oh, I should have known. You goddamn bludgeon men are all the same. Sure, sure, I got your money. Every stinking cent. It's in the house. Hell, I'll even offer you a drink. We can toast to never laying eyes on each other again. I got a powerful thirst on me right now. How about you? Well, you gotta be stinking drunk already to do this kind of work. Ah, uh, I like doing it sober. If you take my money, surely you take a drink off me as well. That would be the manly thing to do. Let's just handle the money first. Worry about manners later, okay? I could be fishing. You were catching flies, you weren't catching fish. Now come on, let's get us that death. Uh, this is as fast as I can go. Someone's here, boy. Bob, oh. wait, what's going on? Don't just stand there, go fix us a drink. Another one, Pop? Don't give me no talk, boy, just do it. I'll look down here for our savings. Savings? Under the sink? Best place for them. Hmm. Now where's them drinks, boy? Shouldn't have turned your back on me, you parasite. Ma! Damn you! Ma!
leave me alone. Son, I want to get out of here, but I can't until I find some money. This some in my footlocker. I I've been keeping it away from him. I ain't that lucky. I think I know the sum, and that should cover it. Ain't you the good son? You should be proud of yourself. Let's go, boy. Been a while, boy. Yep. Too bad a day for a trick. Dumbass. Glad to see you back. Yep.
Hope you boys chose a full safe. A bad hole. Yep. Living God for a few days? Seriously, it's a good one. And it's true, entirely true. Many, many years ago, I was selling camping supplies in East good Africa. Good evening, Arthur. <laughs> uh, my lord, it was wild. The massive boys, uh, them Congo Indians, <laughs> average nine feet tall, some even bigger. <laughs> now, we was riding down the river, you know, when suddenly our boat erupted into flames. Uh, the rest of the crew, they, they was eaten by hippopotamuses and rhinoceroses. I survived, you know. <laughs> I got taken to a, a village in the trees. Uh, they'd never seen a white man before, and as luck would have it, they... They had a witch doctor made a prophecy that a god would turn up floating on the river, white as a cloud. <laughs> so they made me a god. <laughs> and it was fun for a few weeks. Uh, then they tried to marry me off to the chief's daughter. Either that or uh, sacrifice me to another god. <laughs> When I said I'm not the marrying kind, well, they wanted to kill me and feed me to their pigs. <laughs> well, I ran away and, well, I spent weeks in the jungle. Long <laughs> day, Arthur. Gorging off giant cockroaches. Oh, God. True story. I promise you. You goddamn degenerate. I'm just minding my own business here. Well, I suppose I 
should move a bit. Morgan! Reverend? Hello. Hello. What do you want? I'm not... I'm not quite sure. Oh. This keeps happening. Hey there. Morning, Arthur. How's it going? Not feeling my best. I'm sorry to hear that. So what do you think of this place? 
You folks sure move around a lot. Yep, that's how it goes. Okay, boy. Spoken to our place. I got away, but they got my wife. Please, mister. You gotta do something. All right. Where is she? It's a sack down in the swamp by the water. <laughs> okay. Go on. See if you can find the law. I'll do what I can. And I don't want to rotten indoors. in the sack there. It ain't enough, but please take it. Hey, now you quit that now, 
you here? <laughs> Boy, you better stop that now. <laughs> Again, you my guardian angel. Appreciate it. Good luck to you. Hey, move it! Someone there? Hello? There you go, oh, friend. Bless you, mister. Truly, you're a saint. <laughs> yes, sir. There should be more people in the world like you. God bless. dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahassee riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Hello. Can I help you gentlemen? 
Yes, my friend here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Excellent. Well, you'll find all my inventory in the catalog here. Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. You can see the aristocrat in his profile. The heavy brow from all the inbreeding. Might I suggest the fine three-piece town suit, sir? Perfect for the occasion, I'd say. Come on, dear boy, don't be shy. A very good choice, sir. Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in and you take whatever you want. You don't into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, We'll be done here soon. I hope so. Come on! Doctor's been taking bits out of people and keeping them. Pa told me. Wow, no fooling? My good man! Could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. Make him look like a prince, sir. There, very smart. Come on, let's get to the docks. I've arranged some transportation for us. Hope you have a successful evening, gentlemen. Keeping a gentleman waiting. I don't know. George, to the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. From Toad to Prince. Yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it? Your coach. We can't winnie up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. 
You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Buff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't happening. So, who's a mark? Are you all right, by the way, you're driving? Oh, yes, don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery, of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be wet. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. They'll search us when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now, remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night.